with me, so uh, two guys on trucks tonight. We've got to go over a lot of uh, forest area, a lot of trees, so we'll probably climb up pretty high to get above those. Either that or we'll go around them about 28 miles an hour, about 2.4 miles away from the runway. And this is going to be a pretty long flight, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, Probably turn on a little tunes and just uh, enjoy the flight. Okay, checking in here. We've been flying for about 20 minutes, and uh, we're about uh, nine miles, 8.5, 8.6 miles from the runway, about 1,665 feet, and uh, straight ahead. You can, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the lake is straight ahead. There's a runway straight ahead, and uh, we're heading right for it. And uh, doing about 30 miles an hour. And we're uh, at the trims all the way in. We're trying to keep slow as we can and uh, keep David with us. So we're going to just fly down here and go over by the dam. I've spent too much time over there. And then we'll turn around and uh, head back towards the, the LZ. And on the way back, we'll probably fly a little bit lower and uh, fly uh, a little bit, uh, instead of a direct route, we'll probably just fly around uh, some of the open fields and uh, take our time going back. So uh, heading for Salt Fork Lake, uh, one of the large lakes in the area. A lot of people come down here on vacation. They have cabins down here. And straight ahead, I think it's uh, called the Hilltop uh, Airport or Airfield. So you can see the lake ahead of us. And it's a pretty large lake, and it goes on and on. And the highway, that's Highway 77. That runs up towards Cleveland, Canton, Akron. Takes you north and south. South takes you down to uh, Parkersburg, Marietta. Keep on going 77 south, you'll end up down there in North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, that area. We'll head over towards the dam and we'll uh, fly by the dam. A lot of trees over there, so there's not a whole lot of areas to uh, to really uh, fly low. You'd have to stay up pretty high and uh, fly around. And, uh, I don't have any flotation device on here, so I'm not interested in going swimming. We're still up, still up here about 1,300 feet. Uh, making our way over towards the dam. 
Doesn't look like there's too many boats out there. It's a, a Tuesday, so uh, I'm sure they're all getting ready for the 4th of July to come out here and do some boating. And we used uh, the sky, fly sky high in the waypoints. We're a little bumpy right here. And uh, set this up as a waypoint. If I had to land, I could land on the uh, dam down there. There's David, right behind me, up a little bit higher. I'm going to go over here by this runway and do a low bass. Well, it's going to be a sunny, uh, in the eye flight back. Got the sun right in our eyes, head back. We're about 13 miles away from the LZ. I think the last time I was down through here, the owner of the field was out here fishing. Cruise by. I don't see anybody down there today. So far doing about 26 miles an hour, so a little bit slower, 27. We're up to about 756 feet. I'm going to climb a little bit more so I can make sure I have an out. And I'll head over here to some open areas. Okay, we're about 11 miles away from the runway. About 950 feet in the air. I grab a hold of the tip steering and just barely touch the middle, straighten me up. Four miles an hour and 830 feet, flying for about an hour and four minutes. David took off right before me, so he's probably got about an hour and oh, seven or eight minutes to eight o'clock. So he's ready to. He's probably running close on fuel because he was a. Uh, getting some altitude so he was burning fuel a little bit more so he was right up to the right of me here a minute ago he had enough altitude he could float back so they've been working on the airfield down here they were putting in LED lights uh, fixing those up and they've rolled the field so uh, they've really uh, done some work on it been flying for about an hour and nine minutes there's David 
He's right there in front of me, down low. And we're going to set up and land here. Don't see any airport or airplanes flying in. Didn't see any hangar doors open. Runway looks very nice. Very, very nice. Temperature change as we get closer to the ground here. Okay, tighten up on the brakes a little bit just to get a feel where they're at. A little more pressure, a little gasket over this little bump right here. Okay, sun's my eyes hard to see, but we'll hit the brakes, cut it off.